Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool Scream Factory unboxing here for you. This is, um, as you can see, this is Drag Me to Hell. Um, I actually owned this, uh, I almost said album. It's not an album, it's a movie. Uh, I owned this uh, original release. I think it was a Universal release. Is it, actually? Is it saying the back? Yeah, Universal right there. Uh, I bought it back when it came out, like, what the hell? 2010, maybe? I guess I could look on the back here. 2009, yeah. I figured it out, guys. And uh, I liked the film. I haven't seen it since, though. I only watched it the one time. Um, and uh, I think I actually sold it a long time ago, and I've been actually meaning to watch it. And then when I heard that Scream Factory, Shout Factory was releasing it, I thought, well, I'll just wait for that. And then I was going to wait for a better price, too, because um, um, I knew that eventually, especially from Best Buy, which is where I got this, uh, if you wait a little while after release, um, a lot of these screen factories go on sale for about 15 or so dollars. And this was about, I think it was $13.99, which is a great deal, in my opinion. So anyway, as you can see, the slip cover is the same as the uh, front cover, artwork and stuff. Same artwork as I've repositioned here. Let's read this real quick. Um... Uh, let's see. Christine Brown, Allison Loman, is on her way to having it all. A devoted boyfriend, who is Justin Long from Jeeves Creepers, a hard-earned job promotion, and a bright future. But when she has to make a tough decision that evicts an elderly woman from her house, Christine becomes the victim of an evil curse. Now she has only three days to dissuade a dark spirit from stealing her soul before she is dragged to hell for an eternity of unthinkable torment. Director Sam Raimi returns to the horror genre with a vengeance in the film that critics rave is, quote, the most crazy, fun, and terrifying horror movie in years. Which, I don't, I mean, it's like I said, it's been a while since I saw it. I don't know if it's terrifying. It was a creepy film, and the effects are pretty good. But, um, like, I haven't seen it in forever, so what the hell do I know? Uh, it's two discs. Disc one is the theatrical version, and disc two is the unrated version, which is cool. I've actually heard that the unrated cut has a couple of scenes, or even maybe just flashes, from the theatrical cut in it, so like it's not technically fully unrated. So if you contact uh, 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 Shell Factory, his website, you can um, and provide proof of purchase and whatnot. You can get a uh, replacement disc. So I'm gonna do that uh, pretty soon too. Um, disc one, the theatrical comes with a new HD master. The theatrical cut taken from the 2K uh, digital intermediate production video diaries, featuring interviews with the director Sam Raimi and actors. Alice Loman and Justin Long in the trailer. This two has the new HD Master of the Unrated Cut same, from the same intermediate. A new to Helen Back inter interview with Alison Loman. A new interview with actress Alice uh, Lorna, Ra Ra Lorna Raver. Raver? I bet that's her, that actress. And then a new uh, uh, feature read Hitting All the Right Notes, an interview with composer Christopher Young. So several new uh, bits there, which is cool. Otherwise, it's not terribly action-packed, but it's got some cool stuff on it. Here's disc one, and here's disc two. Very cool. That's the original poster artwork, and I assume that's what's back here, too. And I had a, had a Blu-ray that looked just like this, that cover. And uh, I'm glad I have this one now. So I can get this straight. Right, there we go think. Is this straight? Looks straight. Drag me to hell. Very cool. So yeah, that's it. Very simple. Looking forward to checking this one out. Stuff's so turning. There we go. Let me do this. I'm going to do this. And I love this artwork, too. It's pretty cool. Um, I think it's the same as that Osborne. Or whatever. Maybe it's not, actually. No, no actually, it does look a little different. I think it's cool that they used multiple artists for these kind of covers, but the, anyway, just leave it there. That is all, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you around for more unboxings of stuff like this. See you later. Bye.